Greetings and welcome, fellow doctors, to another episode of Let's Play Two Point Hospital. All right, just relax and get back into the business of curing people for a healthy profit. Come on. Also, I could probably do with another assistant. Um, yeah, you'll do. And let's get a reception desk on this side. Not now. Especially since I can't do anything yet. Yay, we've got it. Great news. The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a marketing license. This will allow us to run marketing campaigns to improve our reputation and attract more patients and staff to the hospital. Build a marketing room and hire or train an assistant with a marketing qualification to run campaigns. Yeah. We can do that. The marketing department. Uh, what's there to say about that? They're the bane of sanity, but they do valuable work. Now, in practice, you don't really need all that many marketers in the hospital, I felt. Uh, not with the difficulty level as the game as it is. Depending a little bit on your own needs. Um, let's just at least give them something useful, I suppose. All right, we'll just put in a drawing board. All right, that'll do. Yay. All right, so now we can do marketing campaigns, which is essentially a, a means of spending your money in a way that doesn't seem immediately obvious for what it is. Um, all I really understand is that it gives, for instance, these campaigns basically just give you a boost to your reputation. Which, yeah, I find of dubious benefit. I mean, usually my reputation is already so good that I'm actually getting overwhelmed by the amount of patients I'm usually getting. So, yeah. And also, it's a time when it's usually the most necessary to have uh, a campaign like this. It's usually uh, somewhere near the start, or if the hospital you're working with is completely borked, which generally is only in happening in one hospital that I know of. And, well, even then, it's... Uh, it's really up to you if you think you need it, but overall, I just keep forgetting I have this room. Now, for the uh, this one, I sort of understand more if you've got a particular need to cure something that you're just not getting in your hospital. Like, for instance, we need to cure 10 people with animal magnetism. And that's fine. Uh... Because we're apparently we're probably not getting all that many at the moment, because we have not been able to cure them yet. So patients with that disease probably don't want to come to our place, because we don't have anything yet. So we could boost it with this. Now, how much you want to spend on it? That's entirely up to you. Um, but I found basically just spending on the lowest amounts is usually enough to get most objectives done in a reasonable amount of time. Then there's the recruit marketing. This one is a little bit more useful, I think, in certain circumstances. I mean, usually I have uh, enough doctors of a certain type that I can get, that I uh, get um, more than enough to fill the jobs I have. But suppose I actually did really need something, uh, a particular job filled, I can uh, campaign for getting something for a particular doctor, for instance. 
doctors, nurses, janitors, assistants, and all that. Uh, now, these first ones, I'm not entirely certain what kind of people they attract. I'm kind of hoping it's always good people, but you know, maybe it just makes them come faster to your place. Uh, the surgeon campaign I sort of understand more because that's a particular skill that you uh, usually can't easily get unless of course you have the uh, the research done for it and finding good surgeons is kind of tricky since it's a very specialist field psychiatrists same thing researcher yeah we've already seen how many much trouble I've been having getting researchers Genetics, radiology, ghost cap. Uh, genetics and radiology are a little bit more specialized, but usually not that difficult. If you can find get a doctor with only one uh, with an open bubble, you can easily train them once you have the tech. But if you quickly need someone that is probably the right makeup, you can use this. And then we have some more specialists in the um, other thing, like ghost capture mechanics. If you're really desperate to upgrade your machines and you can't get the, the handyman any other way but I don't think that's and the marketing campaign all right this one I just don't get so you want to use the marketing department to attract people that can do the marketing sure game sure Right, well, we will launch a campaign as soon as we have got something for it to do. Now, I don't really want the, uh, the assistance with customer service because that's not really useful. Because we now need to learn marketing, which allows a system to work in marketing, which is really the only function it has. Um, Get patient to wait. All right, let's start actually putting the room in place so we can start getting the objective done. All right, it needs to be four by four, so. But yeah, using the recruitment campaign to get the people you need. A little bit iffy since you can train anyone you want anyways. Uh, if I could just get a load of uh, zero star doctors that I can easily train, that would also be a nice option. But that's unfortunately not there. All right, let's give this place a cupboard. And I suppose some more posters. Oh, guess there. Hmm? I guess there are lines in the, how much they cost. Oh well. Just want to make this room level three. There we go. And now we can start curing people of the, the bug disease of the. Uh, Disease of the disease where they have animals clinging to them. Assistant to marketing. All right, very nice. Now we already see someone with Pan's lab, so that's also something we need to start doing. And other than that, I think we're probably fine. So let's get a Pan's lab. Get some pandemonium going. the room to level three uh, 
All right. Bench me. And here we go. And you lot need to keep going. Now let's just finish the fluid analysis. Since it's already partially finished. I mean, if you've got the money, you should really always keep your um, research going. Two point radio. Fear not, dear listeners, for Sir Nigel no. Fickleworth has arrived to elevate your radio experience beyond the mundane. But first, a piece of music. All right, I'll hire this one. And that one. Let's get them assigned to the rooms that they are most needed. Um, I think I'll make you a ward as well. I'll just assign you to this. Um, you definitely will only be working oop, the, the pharmacy and I guess I'll let you work in the other rooms for now. You will all only be working in the wards. Alright, you will just be assigned to the... to those, as are you, and you will be assigned to this, and now I've realized I've got a problem. All right, let's... Let's counteract this a little bit. Uh, you can also do the, uh, the things. All right, I need some diagnosis nurses. Pharmacy, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you can do. Fracture ward. All right, get the patient to wait. We are getting a little bit low on cash now. Cash. Uh, the fracture ward was not entirely unexpected. already not, not enough room and I probably don't think it's going to be worth all that much that'll do Alright, here he comes. The first animal magnetism. And he died. Ah. Oh. Alright. You will do. And as far as assist assistance go, you will only do marketing. All right. Well, since we do need to cure this, I'll just launch that campaign just to get it done. Nurse wanted in cardiology. All right. No, no, no. 
No. being all that profitable at the moment. Uh, that's fine. You can be trained in diagnosis. Buy him. We can save some money. Cute game, very cute. No, I'm busy. Make me some money, I'll reconsider it. Down some couple more benches over here. I shall be visiting the old croc museum in sweaty palms later this week. I sincerely hope they have corrected the multiple cases of mislabeled geodes I spotted last time. Speaking of museums, I believe this next song belongs in one. Uh, sent home. I don't have an injection room. Um, that'll do, actually. Right, you will only do the diagnosis, and so will you, once you're done with this. Mm, I mean, you're so good, but I don't, I don't need a diagnosis doctor just yet. I don't have a room for it just yet. Alright, so we have Pandemic, which we already were expecting. Yeah, alright, improve the assistance. We still have not cured anyone with animal magnetism just yet. Yeah, I need to research Sensi, patient home. Right, we cured 5 out of 6, that's not bad. We still have, an, have not needed a loan yet, so... Things are certainly quite well at the moment. <sighs> no. Yeah, fine, you can do it. I need more diagnosis doctors. Let's also get another staff room over on this side. Where is it? I'm almost done. Uh, it doesn't need to be quite this big though. Um, let's shuffle some stuff around. Yeah, that's more than big enough. Fair, it should actually be much smaller, but you know. Use the space, that's the motto of this playthrough. Use the space. 
Use the force, Luke. No. But that'll have to do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time.